congenital system. Starting with the kidney. It's the kidney. We've heard this pattern before. We know what the medulla is. The medulla, I think medulla middle. Mm -hmm. So everything that I'm pointing to right now is, is the, the medulla. Now, because medulla is a term that we've heard a million times, what do we have to say? Medulla of the kidney, or you can say renal medulla. Renal is a fancy word for kidney, right? So renal medulla. Why can't you just say medulla? There's too many medullas all over, right? So this would be the renal medulla, or medulla of the kidney. I just like renal. Renal medulla. Cortex. So if this is the medulla, can you imagine what the cortex is? This part right here. It, it, in the model, it kind of looks like there's a dividing line. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, when you look at it, uh, it is sort of visible. Like when you do the cats, if we were to do the dissection and you cut open the kidney, you can kind of see that there is a the kidney, okay. renal cortex. Pelvis, the renal pelvis, because obviously there's the pelvis, right? Mm -hmm. That would be this here, the renal pelvis. So the renal pelvis leads to this tube, which is called the ureter, or ureter. Okay. column and renal pyramid. This would be a pyramid, this would be a column. If you look up close, you see that there's these, it looks like stripes. Those are what marks the pyramids. So pyramid, 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 pyramid. And in between the pyramids, you have the column. Column, 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 column. So you have column pyramid, column pyramid, column pyramid, column pyramid. And together, when you put a column and a pyramid together, you all together, what do you get? The medulla. So you put together all the columns and all the pyramids and you get the renal medulla. Major and minor calyx. Uh, plural for calyx is calyces. Okay. So each one of these little branches here, see it looks like a little branch here, a little branch here, a little branch Branch here, little branch here, little branch here, little branch. These little branches, those are the minor calyces. The little branches lead to the big branches. These big branches here, that would be the major, major. calyces. And you see the major calyces lead to the renal Green. pelvis. And the renal pelvis then leads to the ureter. Or ureter. Before we do that, since I have this, I might as well tell you about this. This is the adrenal gland, also called the suprarenal gland. It also has a creamy nougat. Middle part here is called the what? Medulla. And this outer part here is called the what? Cortex. So you have the adrenal medulla and the adrenal Adrenal cortex. cortex. In fact, you should know that from the lecture notes. Remember, adrenal mm -hmm. medulla and cortex. So that's why I said we have a lot of medullas, we have a lot. So this would be the renal medulla, renal cortex. Adrenal medulla, adrenal cortex, right? Does anyone remember from lecture what the adrenal medulla secretes? Epinephrine and norepinephrine, also called adrenaline. That's why it's called adrenal. Adrenaline and noradrenaline. Right? Very good. And the cortex secretes things like aldosterone. Cortisol, kinetic, corticoids, right? All right. Next. Oh yeah, you said the bladder. Okay, so 
This is the bladder of a female. This would be the bladder of a male. Bladder female, bladder male. Of course, if this is the bladder, it kind of looks like a head where it goes right here to constrict. What do you think we call that? A neck. Yeah. So right here, if this is the bladder, see where it's kind of coming right here for the tube to come out? That part would be the neck of the urinary bladder, because obviously there's Testes. The testes. We're getting to the testes. All right. The testes. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is falling apart. Anyway. That would be the testes. Holding the testes, of course, is the scrotum. And on top of the testes, we have this highly convoluted tube that's called the epididymis. The epididymis. I love that word. Epididymis. Prostate gland. Prostate gland. This right here looks like kind of an apple underneath or a cherry. That there. What do you think we call that? Prostate gland. It is the male intromittent organ. There it goes. This would be a seminal vesicle right here. Vesicle, seminal vesicle, seminal vesicle right here. Seminal vesicle right here. Prostate. Seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle. Prostate. If I take this off here, this part here would be the seminal vesicle. And this part here would be the prostate. Notice that this tube here called the urethra goes through the prostate. That's why if a guy has an enlarged prostate, they have trouble peeing because it constricts the urethra, and this is where the urine comes through. Okay? Bulbo the bulbal urethral. The only model that we have that has a bulbal urethral would be this one right here. So you see here's the bladder, here's the prostate, and underneath that we have this thing right here. That would be the bulbal urethral. So this is the only model we have that has it. Obviously there's two things. So if I'm going to ask you on a model, it will have to be this one, right? Or or can I ask you a question? Okay. So what's that? Bubble oh, urethra. Right. It's also called Cowper's Okay. Corona. The corona is basically the ridge around the, the rim around the head of the penis. The head of the penis is called the glands. So this around here, that's the Preface. It's a fancy name for the foreskin. 